Kia ora year 9, I'm back with another very exciting video about how to find the gradient. This one is going to look at negative gradients, so hold your breath and get your maths book and your pen out. Please, please don't thumb it down, no one's making you watch this, so if you already know that you're going to hate it, maybe just move on. Right, so this time I'm going to go a little bit faster than I did in video 1, because we've got the big idea. And the big idea is about finding the blobby points and looking for the rise over the run. So the gradient shows us how steep the line is. Remember, I'm going to take two blobby points. So in this first one here, the only difference is that the line is going what you can think of as down the hill like this. Okay, so in video one, all of the lines were like this. This, or this, or this, or this. But they were all basically going up the hill if you're thinking about moving from left to right. So this time, all of the lines are going to go down the hill. So we're going to know that we're going to end up with a negative gradient. Just let me clean this up. But the basic idea is exactly the same. First I'm going to look at how far out I have to go. And I'm always going to do that by drawing the same kind of triangle. So this is my out movement and then down, right? Instead of going up, I have to go down to get to that next blobby point. So now let's count. M, whoops, wrong pen. M is equal to the rise over the run. Only this time, the rise is always going to be a negative number because I'm going down. But we always start with the out number first. So here we're going one, two spaces out. right? So that's in the denominator of my fraction. And then I'm going down one, two, three, four. So if I'm going down, it's negative. right? So it's negative four divided by two, which gives me a gradient of negative two. Right? A negative number divided by a positive number is a negative number. Now there's a reason that I like always starting from here and doing the out part here. And it means that I always end up getting a positive number here and my negative number in the numerator. And that makes it easier when you're starting out with thinking about negative numbers to get to the conventional answer. So in the second one here, the blue line, we've got to find our blobby points. I've got a choice. I could use this point here, or I could use this point here, or I could use this one down here. Um, I'm going to use those first two that I drew in. So where's my triangle? Well, here's my out part, and here's my down part. Right, so M is equal to rise over run. And I put in the bottom number first, so the, denomina the denominator number first. So I've gone out one, and I've gone down 3. So it's going to be negative 3. Now you can see that here I've gone from 5 down to 2. So that gives me negative 3 divided by 1 is just negative 3. My gradient is a negative number. Does that make sense? Well yeah it does because it's quite a steep line going down the hill. So the 3 part of it tells me that it's a steep line and the negative part of it tells me that I'm going down the hill. Let's do some more. Right, two more here. Here's a blobby point, and here's another one. So M in this case is going to have out one on the bottom line. Oh, I've got too many colours pinned there. There's one there. And how many did I go down? Well, I started at six and I went down to zero. So it's negative six. So M is equal to negative six over one, which is just plain old negative six. Right, let's look at this next one. Well, this is interesting. I've got a blobby point here at three. And I've got another one here at 3 as well. So we're going out 3 to get to here, and we're going down 3. So you can see I'm speeding up a little bit. It's the same idea. What's the out number? It's 3. And what's the down number? It's negative 3. I hope there's no problem maths teachers watching for my bad drawings there. Right, so m is equal to negative 1 because I've got negative 3 divided by 3. So a negative divided by positive keeps me with a negative number, and 3 divided by 3 gives me the 1 part of that number. Next one. Ah, oh, now they're starting to get... Is this where I started to make them a bit harder? No, this one's still okay. Let's see. Blobby points. We'll pick this one, and I'm going to pick this one. You'll notice that I often pick the y-intercept. And I do that because this point is really useful for finding the equation of the line. When I'm just looking at the gradient, it doesn't really matter. But in maths, we like to do things that save us work, right? 
So here we've gone out two and we've gone down one. So M is equal to, well, it's got a two on the denominator. Right, so I've gone out two here, one, two, and then I've gone down one here, so negative one. So M is equal to negative one half. That makes sense. This line is still going down the hill, but it's not a really steep one like that. Right, it's quite a nice flattish line. So my answer is negative or one half. Next one. Blobby points. Where are they? Here's one here and here's one here. Draw in your triangle and you can start doing your triangle mentally without drawing it in if you're getting really good, which some of you will be by now. So we've gone out. What have we got? We've got something over five. Look, I've gone one, two, three, four, five. Or you can see I've gone from negative five to zero, right? So that bit is five. Here, I've gone down one. So my gradient is negative one fifth. Next one. How many more? Oh, we've got lots left to do. Right, now on this graph, I put a positive one and a negative one. So let's do the orange line first here for the negative one, because that's what I'm meant to be teaching you about. Right, here's a blobby point. Here's another blobby point. Draw in the triangle. There, I've gone out five, and I've gone down one. So the gradient here is m is equal to rise over run, one, two, three, four, five, and... I've gone down one here. So that's, I think, the same as what we had on the last one. Let's see. Yep, we've got negative one-fifth in both of those. But the difference here is I want to show you that you've got a positive gradient one on the same one so that you start getting really used to knowing straight away which one's positive and which one's negative. So let's find the blobby points. Here's one here. Okay, so first blobby point here, second blobby point here. Let's draw in what's going on. Now, this one, oh, I want to change my highlighter color. Let's see if I can do that. There, big green highlighter. I've gone, oh, what's happened there? One, two, three, four. So out four, and then I'm going to go up two. So the gradient for the positive line has got this for the out. So from negative four up to zero. So that's got four, and then I've gone up two here. So the gradient there is two over four, and we simplify that to one half. Right, two more on the next slide. Right, this time I I'm not going to do them. I want you to pause the video and try them yourself. Okay, the positive one first. Look, I've got a blobby point there. I've got heaps and heaps of blobby points, so I can pick any one. I'm going to go out one and up one. So the gradient for that one is simply m is equal to 1 over 1, which is 1, right? Out one, up one. Next one, the negative slope one, here's one blobby point, here's another blobby point. Okay, so on here I need to do my triangle, but I'm going to get you starting to do that triangle in your head, right? So we're going to go out first, right? There's the out, out two, and then down one. So M is equal to out two in the bottom line and down one in the top line. M equals negative a half. I can't simplify that. With this one here, I had to simplify because we no one goes around talking about one divided by one, right? I had one divided by one eggs for breakfast. No, you had one egg for breakfast. Right, next one, blobby points, blobby point here, blobby point here. Draw the triangle, whoosh, and whoosh. Right, the triangle goes out one, two, three. And then we go from here and we go down two. Now, this is the first one where we don't have a 1 as the top line of the fraction. And that's because I realized that I'd done that by accident with all of the other videos. So there's no reason that the fractions have to be what we call unit fractions. They don't have to be 1 half or 1 third. They could be like this, right? So any fraction is going to exist as a gradient. So in this case, it's exactly the same idea, right? We start with the blobby points, we go out, and then here we go down. And that gives me my negative number. Right, two slides, and then you can stop work. And maybe go back and do the education perfect task. Right, blobby points on this one. Blobby point here. Looking, not, not there. That's not a blobby point. That's not a blobby point. Neither is that, neither is that. Oh, no, where is it? Oh, I made this one really hard, didn't I? Let's have a look. There, there it is up there. Right, so we had to look quite hard there. Right, so draw in the triangle. Um, I'm going to go out first, out to here. So I'm sitting underneath that point, and then I'm going to go up. Right, m is equal to rise over run. How many out did I go? Well, I started at 
0 and I went out to 7. So I went out 7 and then I went up from 2 up to 6. So I don't want to have to keep counting all the time because counting is boring, right? We like subtraction so much more. So from 2 up to 6 is a difference of 4. So my gradient there is 4 sevenths. Right, very last one. Here we go. Looking for the blobby points. There's one blobby point there. And again, there's not one there, not one there, not one there, not one there, not one there. Ah, here we are. Here it is here. Right, draw in your triangle. Whoosh to here and whoosh down to here. M, very last gradient, M, what did I do for the out? Well, I went from here to here, right, from negative 3 up to 0. Always moving in this direction, guys. Okay, so that's 3. And then I went from 5 down to 1, which is negative 4. So my final gradient is negative 4 thirds. Thanks for watching. You should be all set to go and do the Education Perfect work now. Please, please let me know. Either send me an email telling me if you're still not getting it, and we can sit down together at lunchtime, um, or let me know if this has helped as well.